Goedemorgen. Ik wil verstaan, moest, ek gaan moest Mengels praat. Tanni Treya, ons moest raak met Tanni. Ons raak so. Kom ons maak ons bybels oop by Joshua, Joshua 24. Joshua 24. En dis vadersdag vandag. Happy Father's Day. Kinders by die sein. Nog. Sien jylle met nog. Nie vir my nie, dankie. Right, Joshua 24. Kijk, ons allemaal daar so. Ok, goed. En ons lees van vers 14 tot vers 15. Vrees dan nou die Heere en dien hom in oprechtheid en waarheid. En verweider die gore wat jylle, jylle vaders gedien het oor kan die Efraat en in Egypte en dien die Heere. Maar as dit verkeerd is in jylle oor om Heere te dien, kies dan vir jylle vandag wie jylle wil dien. Of die gore wat jylle vaders daar oor kan die Efraat gedien het, of die gore van die Amorite in Wieseland jylle woon. Maar ek en my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. Kom ons sê die saam, 1, 2, 3. Maar ek en my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. En op hierdie vadersdag mag dit die verklaring wees. May that be the testimony of your life. Mag dit die verklaring wees, die stelling wees, the statement, the, what you live by in your family. May that be the testimony. As mense jylle, jylle families sien. May that be what they see. Ek in my huis, ons sal die heren dien. Jylle dien die heren. Amen. So ons sien hier so, hier die eerste punt, hier so vrees dan nou die heren, en dien hom in oprechtheid en waarheid. Daar is een vrees, wat oprechtheid en waarheid, it, it brings us to a place of living in uprightness and truth. And the Engels said it, faithfulness. Fear the Lord and bring, walk in faithfulness. Alright? Dat is een vrees wat ons wegdrijf en dat is een vrees wat ons nader bring aan die heren. If you're a slave, you are driven away. If you are a son, you are brought closer. Klink snaas, ons, ons ken die beginsels, die vrees wat ons wegdrijf en die vrees wat ons nader bring. Die vrees is reverence. Is nie, is nie, wat, wat, wat is dat ding? It's not, it's not a negative fear, but it's reverence. It's awe, to be in awe of God. Right? Is die vrees van die Heere oor ons levens? Een vrees wat ons leid tot een wandel van oprechtheid en waarheid? Een vrees wat getrouheid bring in ons wandel met hom? In every area of your life. Een vrees van sy teenwoordigheid. Eer. Because that brings faithfulness. That brings the fruit of faithfulness in your life. In your work environment. In your, in your family life. In what you are busy doing. Where you are when nobody is. When nobody is looking. There's that, there's, there, there's that saying. What, what is that thing? Who are you when nobody is looking? Who are you when nobody is looking? But somebody is looking. Somebody is there. This is the Heere. Right? He's omnipresent. Somebody is there. So what you are doing, would you be doing that in front of somebody? What you are watching, would you be watching that in front of somebody? What you are not doing, would you not be doing that in front of somebody? Gehoorzaamheid. Hierdie vrees bring een vrug van gehoorzaamheid en oprechtheid. It brings about the righteousness of God in our lives. Ek in my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. Betekker sit ek hierachter, en sien ek die ouwens op hulle selfoone, en man, hulle is nie bezig met die Bijbel nie, hulle is bezig met WhatsApp, of games, of iets anders. En dan gaan sit ek daar achter, 
En dan is ek bezig met WhatsApp. En dan kom die ouwens so in hier so achter en wat maak ek? Sê, ga my voor neer. Why? Want daar is een vrees. Daar is een vrees wat oor my kom. A fear of being guilty. Would you be doing that, Peter Jones? Hoe kom, why is there that fear? Because you are not walking in faithfulness. You are not doing what you should be doing. But there is a fear, a reverence, a respect that brings the fruit of faithfulness in our lives. Mag hy vrees op ons levens wees. Amen. Spreke 14. So hy jou vinger daar so by Joshua 24. Ons gaan weer, uh, uh, we're going to read that again. Maar kom ons maak ons bybels oop. By Spreke 14. Ek beloof, ek gaan nie te lang preekie, so daai, daai KFC wat jylle vrouwens in die oond het vir jylle, vir vadersdag, of hy McDonald's wat jylle voorbereid het, um, dit sal jy, dit sal jy verbrand nie. Ok, spreke 14, en ons lees van vers 26, wie die Heere dien, het daarin een veilige toevlug, en ook sy kinders vind daar skuiling. Wie die Heere dien, het daar een veilige toevlug, en ook sy kinders vind daar skuiling. Daai woord dien, in die Engels en in die Hebreers, is het eindelijk vrees, wie die Heere vrees. Na die vrees, het ons laatste sê, is nie, it's not a fear that brings um, a crippling effect, but it is reverence and it is awe. Those that revere and fear the Lord, het daar een veilige toevlug, en ook sy kinders vind daar skuiling. Ek wil graag jylle paas aanmoedig. Vrees jylle die Heere. Vrees jylle die Heere. Daar is een vrees wat vrug bring in ons levens. Goeie vrug. En daar is een vrees wat Slechte vrug bring. It takes, brings us into a walk of unfaithfulness. Or it brings you in a walk of faithfulness. Brings that fruit. It is not net for the paas nie. This is not just for the fathers. But for us as individuals. Het daar in a veilige toevlug. En ook sy kinders vind daar skuiling. What you do will produce protection for your next generation. That fear of God upon your life, ek en my huis sal die Heere dien. That fear of God upon your life will bring protection for your children. And may that be the testimony of your life, that your kinder sy skuiling sal hee. Psalm 103, kom so maak ons Bible sal oop, Hou jou vinger nog steeds al by Joshua 24, Psalm 103. Psalm 103. En ons lees vers 13. So sy vader hom ontferm oor sy kinders, so ontferm die Heere hom oor die wat hom dien. Weer eens die woord dien is eindelijk vrees. In die Engels, maar nie net in die Engels, nie in die Hebreers. In the Hebrew it's actually fear, those who fear him. Right? Daar is ontferming, daar is comfort. Hy vorige skrif in spreke het, het het gesê, daar is veilige toevlug. Daar is veilige toevlug, daar is comfort en daar is skuiling vir die wat die Heere vrees. Vir die wat die Heere vrees. Kom ons gaan terug, Joshua 24 toe. Alright. En na die tweede stuk van hy skrif sê, verweider die goede wat jylle vaders gedien het oor kan die Efraat en in Egypte. Alright, verweider die goede. In Engels, it says, throw away the gods, your ancestors worship beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt. So, is dit raag om te sê, jylle het oorgesteek. You crossed over. 
you crossed over the river. Is that right? Let word gestuk. All right. So there was a there was a Moses generation on the one side, but on the other hand, is there a Joshua generation? We had word gestuk. We did cross over. Jij hebt er kiezen gemaakt om jouw leven voor Christus te geven. You made a choice. That is why you're sitting here. You made a choice. Hopefully you made that choice. Maar so zoals ek julle ken nie, het meeste van julle al kiese gemaak. Julle het al kiese gemaak om to cross over. But you need to stand up in a new leadership, a new leadership role to deal with the gods of the past. Those gods of the past can no longer hinder you or should no longer hinder you. Right? You are meant to be a Joshua generation. But met die vlees deel. Wat was die eerste, een van die eerste dinge wat hulle gedoen het en die, uh, toe hulle oorgesteek het, toe hulle, when they crossed over, was die besnijdenis. If I was one of the Israelites and I knew, dat was een van die, one of the prerequisites, ek is nou die seker of ek, so, oorkruis het, oorgang het. Tanne, maar moeilik om een mans mens te wees. Alright. Maar ons moet met die vlees deel. That was one of the first things that they did was they dealt with the flesh. We all have a past. We all have families with issues. Right? Ons Jones family was perfect. Conrad? Jones family was perfect. Right? And said, Amal ons issues. But ons had a kiese gemaak to change. And I cannot walk any longer in the issues and the baggage of the Jones family. I have crossed over. Am I, ek moet verweide, verweide die goede, wat jylle vaders gedien het, oor kan die Efraat en Egypte. So dit is nie net, ons as christene, man, it's not just about, oh, maar ek het die, ek het die ander goede gedien nie. What idols are there in your lives? What are the idols that your families were bound to? Bound to poverty. Bound to lust. Bound to what? What? What other things can we be bound to? What's that? Gluttony. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Cakes with a man say, Glutton. <laughs> All right. There's different things that our families have been bound to, and you can be a product of that idolatry, if I can put it that way. My yellow hit a kiss on Urtahan. In yellow with Mary Fleece deal. Yellow with Mary Hurde deal. Yellow steel from a new generation, a Joshua generation. Wat met die vlees deel, wat met die goede deel. Ek in my huis sal hier dien. Gideon, wat doen Gideon? The angel of the Lord comes and speaks to Gideon and say, deel met die afgoede, deel met die afgoede van jylle families. Hulle, they were Israelites, they were Israelites. Hulle was christene, as ek het so kan sê. They were Israelites, die volk van die Heere. Wat het hy gedoen? Hy was bang, en die aand, so allemaal slaap, what did he go and do? Throw over the idols. Die mens wat na by ons is, ons families, our families have issues, our families have idols, and some of them will be the ones that attack you first. Some of them will be the ones that attack you first, when they see that you are making a choice to change. Maar, Ek in my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. Right? Maak die moeilike keeses om weg te stap van die verlede. Maak die moeilike, moeilike keeses om die, af, om die afgoede te hanteer. Right? Learn from the mistakes. Man, ons, ons, 
Ja, ons familie is nie perfect, maar daar was goeie beginsels. There were good things to, to build on, but lay the foundation then further for your family. Right, spreke 13. Spreke 13. Nou, jylle hoef die dateplan, ek gaan net lees. Spreke 13 vers 22. Een goeie mens laat een erfenis, uh, laat een erfenis na ook vir sy kleinkinders. That's three generations. That's three generations. Die kees is wat jou nou maak, wat jy nou maak, can affect three generations. You, next, the one after. Maak jy rechte keeses. You can change. You can change the trend. Deal met die afgoore, deal met die vlees, because those choices you make today will influence your grandchildren. Ek in my huis doesn't just mean you and your children, but it includes your grandchildren. Ek in my huis sal die jere dien. Amen. Punt 3 daar so, kies dan vir julle vandag, wie julle dien. Maak kwaliteit besluite. God eerste in alle facette van my huis. Maak kwaliteit besluite. It doesn't have to be quantity decisions. Right? Maar begin met a quality, kwaliteit besluit. Start with a quality decision. Because sometimes when we look at everything that needs to change, dan word ons moedeloos. Ons kyk na ons omstandighede, ons kyk na ons huis, ons kyk na ons familie, ons kyk na ons kinders, ons kyk na whatever, and we just get despondent and think, Jere, help. Hoe? Hoe gaan dit verander? Start with one quality decision. Besluit. Kies dan vandag, wie wil jylle dien? What are you willing to compromise with? It sounds bad. Waar oor is jy bereid, of waar oor kies jy, uh, I, I, I'm confusing myself here, what are you willing to compromise with? What are you willing to, willing to make a compromise? We compromise with one thing in our homes. Ja, kom ons, ons geef hulle een uur, een uur de waas tyd oor die nabeek, op een vrijdag en een zaterdag, of it's a Sunday or whatever, let them speel, let them game speel, and that, and then they come and they ask us for more game time, and then compromise on so, and sicker cookies, and what are you willing to compromise? What is valuable? What is eternal? What has eternal value? Okay, I'm repeating myself, 100 or 500, Kiri, so, but is it really worthwhile? Kies dan vandag, kies dan vir jylle vandag, wie jylle wil dien. Right. Wie of wat sal in jou huis aanbid word? Wie kry prioriteit? Who gets priority in your house? Your attitudes? Your habits? As my vrou um, winkel toe gaan, what do I tell her? Bring, koop gauw vir my kook. It gets priority. A what? A nosh. I'm, I'm okay now on the noshes. Okay. But something gets priority. Something gets a priority in the house. Ook ek moet hierdie he. Right? I must have this thing. What is getting priority in your house? Um, we, what we did was, um, ons het, ons het um, gaming time vir ons kinders, maar dis, dis een sekere tyd op een zaterdag en een sekere tyd op een zondag, en dis dit. Alright? Maar, we, we kind of get this, this mode that we have, en dan sê ons, ok, maar jylle kan, you can only have that gaming time if you are spending time with God. And then we put it in place, dan oefen ons het. Okay, now, now spandeer hulle tyd met die heren, voordat hulle gaan gaan. And then what do we do? Volgende nawek is al geen tyd saam met die heren, dan is ons 
Ons is so slack met ons discipline. <laughs> but there is no time with God, there's no constant time with God in the week. So what is getting more priority with our kids? The gaming. And the discipline for God in their lives. Fast it. Ek in my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. Ek in my games, ons sal die Heere dien. Alright. What is getting priority? Kies dan vir julle vandag, wie julle wil dien. Punt nummer 4 daar so. Maar ek in my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. Maak a stelling en bly, en, en bly staande. Right? Maak a stelling en bly staan. In Ephesians 6 sê dit, put on the armor of God that you can stand against the schemes of the devil and once you have stood against it, that you can remain standing. That you can remain standing. There's going to be, when you make a statement, when you say, ons gaan tyd met die Heere spandeer, Jylle gaan nie geheim speel nie, voordat jylle tyd met die Heere gaan spandeer. Man, are you going to get manifestations? Yeah, yes. Are you going to get manifestations when you, when you say ons moet hierdie dinge prioriteit maak in ons huis? Gaan jy self manifesteer as die Heere vir jou sê, luister, hierdie ding moet die prioriteit wees in jou leven. And I want you to deal with this. I want you to put that thing away. Maar Heere, maar Heere, hoeveel keer het ek 500 skrifte ge, gaan soek vir confirmation? Dan sê die Heere vir my, nee, dan gaan bid ek weer. Was dit nou rarig Heere? Dan kry ek skrifte, dan sê dit nee, dan gaan bid ek weer. Was dit nou rarig Heere? Dan kry ek skrifte, dan sê die Heere nee, dan gaan bid ek weer. And it's so difficult sometimes as an adult to accept a no from somebody that you do not see. As it iemand is wat ons kan sien, that's visible, it makes it easier. But somebody that's invisible, it's so difficult because I become my own authority. Ek in my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. Ek sal die Heere vrees. And my vrees, that is going to produce a lifestyle of faithfulness, op rechtheid, en gehoorzaamheid. Kies vandag, wie gaan julle dien? Maar ek in my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. Kom ons maak ons bybels oop by Jesaja of Jesaja um, 62 vers 10. Ek gaan het in Engels lees, of ek, ek het die Afrikaans hier so. Jesaja Verstien. Gaan in, gaan in die poorte, bereid die weg vir, uh, van die volk, vul op, vul op die groot pad, gooi die klippe weg, steek een banier op oor die volk. I'm going to read it in English. Pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, remove the stones, raise up a banner for the nations. Ek in my huis sal hier dien. Now who know? Mark seeker, you've dealt with the gods. You've dealt with the past. You deal with the flesh. You've crossed over and one of the first things that you have to do is deal with the flesh. And then deal with the good. Kies, besluit, wie gaan jylle volg? Wie gaan jylle aanbid? In jou huis, in jou leven, wie gaan jy eerplek hee? Is that correct? Who's going to have the place of honor? And where you are, as jylle nou daar achter sit, en jy, of, of wat doen jy op jou cellfoon? Check jy daar whatsapps, tydens die, tydens die diens, of eer jy die woord van God? 
Vrees jy die woord van God? Ek sê nie dat die vrees wat nou, that brings guilt and brings judgment, and that I'm talking about a fear that is reverence and awe. Vrees jy die woord van God, that it catches your attention, that you honor it so much, that you will not be busy with something that doesn't bring about fruit in your life. But brings about a fruit of righteousness, faithfulness. Right. Pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way. Bereid die pad voor vir jylle kinders. Your children and your grandchildren. Three generations. Ek in my huis, three generations. Right. Gooi die klippe weg. Steek een banier op oor die volk. Make that statement. Die banier op oor die volk. That statement. When people look, they don't just see the words ek in my huis, maar hulle sien die testimony. Ja, hulle dra die vrug. Hulle dra die vrug. Ons kan die vrug sien in die persoonse lewe. Ek in my huis. Ons sal die Heere dien. Nie sal nie, ons dien die Heere. Habakkuk 2 vers 2 Maak het duidelik. Maak het duidelik. Um, en Afrikaans sê dit, skryf die gezicht op en grafeer dit op tafel zodat so hulle dit in die voorbijgang kan lees. In English, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. Make it plain. Make it easy for your children to see. Make it easy for yourself to understand and to run with it. Set up this new banner. Set up this new pathway so that you, your children, and your children's children can understand it easily, can grasp it, and can run with it. Ek in my huis, ons sal die Heere dien. Vrees dan nou die Heere, en dien om in oprechtheid en waarheid. Verweider die goede wat jylle vaders gedien het, oor kan die Efraat in Egypte. Kies dan vir jylle vandag, wie jylle wil dien, maar ek in my huis, ons sal leren dien. Amen. Dis my gebed vir jylle vandag, that this will be the testimony of this house, hierdie geestelike huis, vir elke een van ons families, vir elke een van ons, as, as individue, this will be the testimony of your life. Amen. Come with us all. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity just to hear your word. And Lord, we, we pray that you help us to, to deal with the flesh. We pray that we will walk, we've crossed over, we've made that choice to cross over. And we pray that we will actively deal with the flesh, deal with the idols, and we will make that choice. Who will receive the honor? You will be priority in our houses, Lord. Just as this is a Father's Day, Lord, we want to honor you as the perfect Father in our houses, in our lives. We choose to honor you. May you have a place of honor in our homes, and we choose to make a statement, to make a banner, to raise a banner over our families, and our grandchildren, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. Right.